Hello, this is SK with MDK Tech Videos, and today I'm going to be doing the review of the Samsung R3 wireless speaker. And I know I've been saying that I'm going to be posting up the review, so today's the day. So, as you can see, he has the Samsung R3 wireless speaker, and, and this thing should look so good. You see this uh, circular shape of it. So how we're going to do this review, I'm going to first show you how to set it up. So it comes with this uh, power cable. So as you can see there, and now how you do it is right at the bottom of it, there's a hook there. I um, hope you can see it there. So what you're going to do is you put it right through here, your hook, your cable there, and then you're gonna do is you put this cable diagonally so like a hole there push it there so yep it's connected diagonally there's no mistake so you make sure it's hooked there and then you're ready to go and then obviously what's left is just put this to power source so This is what happens when you connect it to a power source. Make sure this start up animation. And let's wait for it. Wi-Fi is ready. See, so it says Wi-Fi is ready. So then what you want to do now is to go to your device, it can be a tablet in your phone, and go to your Play Store or App Store and download this app wireless audio multi room and I've already downloaded it so just open it and just wait for it to load right, and then now we're gonna choose new setup and ask you which what kind of speaker do you want to like connect with your app so I was the R3 so it's connected to the power source here yeah. and tells us not to touch the top while we setting it up so okay I was trying to find our speaker via Wi-Fi so it's to be taking long so we're just gonna click on not blinking which, that's what it says and it says press the SPK add Wi-Fi setup button now that button will see it at the bottom of the speaker so right there, just press it. Ready to connect. So it's just really connect. See if it's gonna work now. Yep, it works. So it found our Wi-Fi network. So let's just, just put the password. Let's connect. The connection is complete. Okay, so it's connection is complete. So the speaker is now connected. So it's also as if you want to add more speakers, so I only have this one, so no. And now it just shows you uh, how the app works, and you just close it. And then if you want to like, add more speakers, you're going to just click on there. And then just say more, but we don't want to add any speaker. And then now, it, yeah, it shows you all the music that you have in your phone. Um... So that's all we have there. So now in the settings part, this is where you know how we add a speaker. We want to send an alarm for the speaker. I mean, that's if you struggle to wake up just like me, and maybe you can need an alarm that's going to be so loud as the speaker. And also, there's like sleep timer, the input source, so we can change to Bluetooth, Wi Fi, or TV sound connect which is also via Bluetooth and the music services it's like online music services and it's going to work now so I'm just going to leave it not interested in that and then if you want to update it and that's some advanced settings switch on the LED or audio prompt on or off like support and all the good stuff so now we're just going to test the sound of the speaker so I'm just going to go to songs and then what you're gonna play is the 
this one, this one. You can hear how rich the sound is. That is how you increase the volume. Switch on the volume there and the app there, or at the top of this app here, and just press this thing. So, yeah, that's all. So, now I just want to show you that you don't have to use this app. So let's just cross the sound and it just stores the app. Now I just want to show you that you don't have to use the Samsung Multi Room app. You can also just use your favorite music player as long as your device can actually connect via Bluetooth. So what you're gonna do is you press the mode button. So now it shows that we we only gonna be connecting via Wi-Fi and so you just press it again. TV sound connect. And so now, if I connect via TV sound, that's what you're gonna leave it at. But we're gonna connect it via Bluetooth, so we'll just press Bluetooth it. Bluetooth is ready. So it says Bluetooth is ready. First, I have to actually pair it with the uh, Samsung R3 wireless speaker. So we're just gonna connect it via Bluetooth, so I can click on it. The connection is complete. So it's now connected. So you go back to your music player. And just press on play. So now it's actually playing through Samsung R3 wireless speaker. I can increase the volume like that also on your device. So basically, if you want the loudest volume, you just make it. Just take it to max volume on your device and also on the R2 wireless, which is max is 30. And so that's it. So, another cool thing I want to show you is how to actually change tracks with this. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the previous track, you just swipe like that, just gonna swipe again, so it changes the track. And you're going to go to the next one, just swipe the other way, as easy as that. Well, obviously, if you don't want to do that, you can just do it on your device, obviously. So, yeah, that's all that I wanted to show you, besides the fact that it can get really loud. Now, the final thing I want to show you is the fact that you don't always have to, like, take it out of the parcels. Because what happens if you're not playing music, it goes to, um, standby. So, how you wake it up, just tap on it at the top, and the music starts playing again. And so, also, if you're not, like, take it into like deep sleep what you're gonna do is you do this just put your fingers there and wait for it there so now it's on deep sleep so how you wake it up again step on it now your connection will also be off so you'll have to like set it up again and it's as simple as that just go back to your device and just click on it so since the connection not, is complete so that's as simple as that and then you're ready to go again you can just play music and it's through the R3 wireless speaker see so that's about it of the review so yeah so that was the review so um uh, if you have more questions or any more questions, you can just go, you can just comment below in this comment section. Just ask me anything, I'll be able to be gladly to, to answer you any questions regarding the Samsung R3 wireless speak on my channel or anything. And I'll be happy if you can subscribe, also on the subscribe uh, button there. And also, if you like the video, please smash on that uh, like button. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.